keep it out of the out of the out of the dental chair create uh, a separate area those are the things to start with another thing what you can do is is if you would like is is to create the look and feel uh, of of Maya brace everything related to Maya brace all the brochures all the booklets all the information uh, is 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 based on this kind of look and feel so if the patient or the parents come in, they see, okay, here is what they are doing. This is what they're doing uh, in the, in the myobrace area, in the myobrace treatment, in the myofunctional treatment. I recognize this, and this is the place I need to be. So start thinking about this. Try to find the space. <clears throat> so there are several uh several uh training facilities all over the world and and of course also in europe this is the office here in 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 the netherlands at this moment i'm speaking from this office uh it's in the southern part of the netherlands and from this office uh we support our partners in europe and africa it would do everything to to support you but we also have a training facility here so at this moment, uh, I'm sitting in this room, in this lecture room. Um, and in this lecture room, we train assistants, we train doctors. So all the education, what we want to share with you, uh, we do in this, this, this area. We also have a clinic. Uh, it's, it's a show clinic. So what we do here is we don't treat actual patients here, but we train the assistants, we train the doctors in every step what they have to take. So this is the waiting room area. Uh, this is the, the, the area where we train the activities. So you see all the, all the screens with the activities. So what we do here is train doctors and assistants in how to explain the activities to uh, to the patients. Uh, sometimes we do some activities. So you see the walking, the tree where we can do the paces. So this is the activity area where we also can train you. Then we have the the area uh, where we can take the records. So it means here we take the pictures. Uh, here we do all the questioning, everything what is necessary. Then we have the myobrace area. So we, here in this clinic, we have two myobrace areas where we also train the assistants in how to do the consultation um, because the, the assistant is capable of doing uh, the explanation of the treatment. So it means what is the background, what are we going to do, what kind of activities, etc. So there are two areas to, to train that and that's what we do here in the office. There are also other training programs. So now we do the webinars. This is short, this is quick. And, and within one hour, one hour and a half, we try to, to give you as much information and education as possible. Then we also organize one day and two day courses. And in those one and two day courses, uh, we, we go into more into the deep. Uh, we discuss cases, uh, we discuss experience, but we also do workshops, so training, um, training the bent wire, uh, uh, trigger palpation tests, um, uh, assistant training, how to talk with the patient, all those kind of workshops and courses is what we organize in the countries. Again, it's important to train, it's important to get the education. This is an example, I know it's 2019 what is written here, but this is an example of as, uh, how we communicate this for the trainings here in the office. This is my colleague who is most of the time doing the two-day courses. Uh, and we most of the time here in the office, uh, in the clinic in, in Baalwijk, uh, we do it two times per year in English. And sometimes if necessary, we do it in the, together with the local partner. And then we invite them here in, in Baalwijk. So this is education and it's very important. This is an example of a lecture program, what we did uh, until, okay, it was, it should be until March, but th there were some, uh, some courses were canceled. But this is, for example, a setup in the way we are traveling uh, all over Europe to do, the, to, to do the live courses, one day or two day courses. 
Another thing to get the education and to get the knowledge is our uh, summit, our yearly summit. Uh, this is an example of the summit of last year. And this means that in four days, uh, there are all doctors with all kinds of disciplines from all over the world are explaining, are telling, are sharing their knowledge with the people who attend uh, those courses and, and those uh, lectures. And we talk about uh, doctors who only talk about breathing, speech therapists, dentists, so people with, with all kinds of different fields of, of knowledge and expertise, they, they are here. So it's important to, to, get, to get this knowledge. Uh, of course, there's the lectures, uh, but during those summit, we also have a nice social program. Uh, it's also important to, to, to network with colleagues from all over the, all over the world. Um, so we also organize those kind of things. At this moment for this year, we don't know if the summit will continue. Uh, normally it will be in November, but check our social media and check all the web available websites. Uh, and then you will know if it continues, yes or no. Then we have the clinical staff trainings. That means that we uh, visit you in the clinic and help you in the clinic. Uh, how to set it up, uh, how to, to, to do uh, a consult. Maybe you can invite some, some uh, patients. Uh, staff will be there, so all kind of educational situations. This is an example of a staff training and a clinical training. Then we have the member tra assistance trainings here in, in, the, in the office. So it means that for what, a whole day, uh, assistance from members or uh, clinics will be here to be trained. So we do all kind of, of different programs. So it, if you get started, get the knowledge, try to get as much as information as possible. So we have the bent wire, I showed you the last time. And then we, like I told you, we're now speaking about the European uh, uh, training center here in, in the office. We also have two other uh, options in Europe. Uh, most of them is, is, is together with a partner in a country. So we have one in Kiev for mainly the, the um, Russian speaking countries. So if they want to, to, to be trained in Russian language, they can go to Kiev. Uh, we also have a, a facility in, uh, in, in Cologne, in Germany, for mainly the German-speaking countries. So we, we are offering a lot of, a lot of uh, educational situations. And then, of course, uh, here in Baalwijk. Then, as a support and how to get started, we, we have some uh, protocol documents, uh, the flowchart, the manual and the principles. Uh, now I will, I will show you the flowchart. The last time, uh, or no, I must say the manual and the principles are not ready yet. They are now here to modify, modify and then it will come into the, into the markets or will be available. But now I will talk about the flowchart. Um, the flowchart is, is, is very important in how to explain and how to know when do you need to go to the next step. Um, so how do you start uh, in phase one? How do I know? So you start in phase one. You go, you, in phase one, I told you the last time, you need to uh, do the habit correction. So to establish the nasal breathing, breathing, that is the goal. And at a certain time, most of the time, four to six months, you need to uh, find out is the nasal breathing established. There are some tests to do that, but let's say the question is, is the nasal breathing established? Uh, is it yes, then you can skip to, uh, to phase two, to stage two. If not, then you need to find out what is the, what is the problem. So first of all, is there a, uh, a compliance problem with the appliance? So it means, is the patient doing what you are asking him or her to do. Uh, so try to find out um, if, if she's listening, if they are wearing it one or two hours per day, if they're wearing it during the night, uh, maybe they have a turnaround, you don't know, so try to find out. And if they have a compliance problem, have a good conversation with them. Uh, we are talking about a serious uh, treatment. So if the patient is not willing to listen, then very simple to say, don't waste your time on a patient who is not willing. 
So what I know from some countries is that they speak with the patient and they say, okay, we now make a contract. You have to sign it. If you don't follow up what we are doing, if you don't take this treatment serious, then we stop with it and we terminate the, the treatment. Most of the time that will work. If a, a compliance is not a problem, you go to the next step and it is to try to find out, do they understand the activities? And in this case, it's the breathing activities. Do they understand what they need to do? Do they see it in, in, in the good language? Uh, do they understand? Uh, what's the problem with that? So that means if you find out that there is the problem, explain it, give them more guidance, give them more assistance, uh, assistance to, to do the activities uh, good, to do it well, and then continue with the, with the treatment. Again, we're talking about a serious treatment, so it means the appliances need to do its work. Activities are an important part of this treatment. If everything is okay with the activities, maybe you need a referral to an ENT doctor. So maybe there is a problem, or do you think there's a problem with it, with the tonsils or the apnoids or whatever? Then you can say, okay, maybe I need an extra expertise. So send them to an ENT doctor, most of the time, those doctors say, oh, nothing's wrong, you can go back. And the question is, and that's also a discussion we will have when we do the lectures, the question is, are the tonsils there? Are they big because of the bad breathing? Or is the bad breathing because of the tonsils? So it's also, it's, it's the chicken or the egg. Um, but most of the time, if the referral is, is, is done and you can continue uh, with the treatment. If you skip to the second phase, so the nasal breathing is established, established, you go to the second phase and you know that in the second phase, the, the main target is the arch development. And what you wanna do is, is the tongue activity. So the tongue must be up in the, in the, good, uh, in the, in the right position. Um, so the target there is arch expansion. Um, then you continue to, uh, to all the, the questions. Is the arch ex, uh, expanded as we expected? If yes, okay, then you go to the, to the final stage. If not, you have to find out again what is the issue. Is it a compliance problem? You don't know. Is it a problem with the activities? The same as in, in, in situation number one. Or do we need extra help in the arch development? So then you can consider bent wire uh, or other tools, what you need to, to help expanding the arch. Um, so again, if everything is there, the arch is, is expanded and the, the, the space for the tongue is there and the tongue activity and the swallowing and everything is, is okay, you, you uh, go to the, to the final stage, continue all the steps again, and at the end, in total 18, max 24 months, the treatment is complete, happy patient, happy doctor, and you can continue with the next patient. Um, so this is an important document, and I will show it again. This is an important document, what you can, uh, what you can use, what you actually need in your clinic. It's only available on paper. Uh, it's an A3 format, so it's in, in three, um, in three parts so you can can open it um and i think i will discuss with at this moment it's only in 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 english so maybe alex and i will discuss to translate it in the local language and then we will also make it for the uh for the romanian doctors this is an important document and i know i'm sure that after this uh, webinar here will be some questions about this document so everything is set in the clinic, you are ready, assistant is ready, you are trained, everybody has the knowledge, and now is the first part, how do I get my pa patients? How do I need to inform the parents? What kind of things do we have? So we start with informing the parents, creating a demand, what I say, always say as a salesman, creating a demand. People are not coming by themselves, you need to create the question. So it means, First of all, there is a, a patient letter. I know in some, in there are countries you are not allowed to do this kind of uh, this kind of letters. Other countries, yes, but 
this is general. So I would like to show you that we have this kind of information. So you can send it maybe to database patients or uh, people in your, in your own database. We have the documents to create the question, the demand. Then, of course, we have uh, all the, 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 the waiting room leaflets. So just put it in, in, your, in, your, in the waiting room at the reception desk. People who are waiting there, uh, they will start to read. They see uh, Myobrace, they see juniors, they see the name of teens, they see uh, teeth without, uh, straight teeth without braces, etc. They want to read, and if they know what they want, they I will ask you the question. Of course, we also have our website, so people can also visit the Myobrace.com website, where they will find all the info. Besides this, this we also have the parent information booklet. Uh, we suggest don't put this on a desk, but give them to the to the to the parent who is coming in uh, in the in the in the in the office or in the in the dental uh, situation. And if they have questions, you can give give them this. In this, everything is is this, uh, described. Everything uh, is described in a summary, um, and and give them all the information what they need what they want to know. Of course, we also have our website where they can find all the information. It's in the most common languages. Um, so here they can, they can read more and they can also find my practitioner. So if the, if the doctor is a member or an MCP, they will find uh, the nearest uh, practitioner. Uh, so they can, can get every information what they want. So the parents are informed. They want to know more about uh, everything what you have to offer. So there will be the first consultation. And in the first consultation, it's important uh, that the assistant in this case, that, the, that everybody who is involved will be there. So we have the patient, we have the mom, we have the dad. It's important to explain to everybody involved what we are going to do and what you what you expect as a clinic from the patient and the parents. Um, I know there are a lot of uh, family situations. Uh, people are living together. People are not living together. Children who are moving between parents. It's important that to to explain that this is a serious treatment. What will take 24 hours, seven days in a week. So it doesn't mean that at Friday afternoon at five o'clock that the treatment stops and then they have fun in the weekend and then Monday it starts again. No, it's 24 hours, seven days a week. It's important. And to explain this, we have uh, a, a 10 minute slide. Um, and in those 10 minutes, uh, the assistant can explain what is happening, what is the problem, uh, how are we going to solve it, what are the goals, etc. Why 10 minutes? Because most of the time, the, the uh, attention span of a child is less than 10 minutes. So within that time period, everything what you are going to do needs to be explained. So, and we have the myobrace patient consultation. Therefore, we have, uh, like I said, the, the, the different uh, slides, and I will show you now what kind of slides we have. So actually there are 10 slides. This is the first slide. You have to explain that the patient who is sitting there is a special patient, but not with a special issue because almost 100% of the children will have the same issue as what you have, the, the malocclusion. So that's what, what, the, what you need to explain. Then, okay, we can uh, do some, some, some orthodontics, but it, we need to do more than only straightening teeth. So we want to explain orthodontic to the brackets is a good thing, but what we want to do is treating the causes instead of uh, the aesthetical situation. So we, we need to do, to do more. So not short, uh, short, uh, short time, but we want to do it in a longer time. What are the causes? So what is happening in and around the mouth? So the force of the tongue, two to two and a half thousand times per day. As an assistant, you can also make a game out of this with, uh, with, with the patient. So just ask them, 
how many times do you think you have to swallow you get the most crazy crazy numbers so you you have to explain what is happening and this is a visual animation or an animation what will explain what is happening in your mouth what kind of forces and now you understand why the teeth are crooked so it is important to breathe and breathe by your nose instead of uh, uh, by your mouth. So what we want to do is to create nasal breathing. And that's what we're going to do. That is one of our targets. Another target is to have the right swallow. Uh, because of the swallowing, there will be some, uh, it has some effects on the teeth, at the, at the mouth, uh, the, the tongue position and everything related to that. So you have to explain why you want to treat swallowing what is happening if you are wearing the my brace and what is happening if you are not wearing the appliance. So now you go more into the deep, what is the my brace doing? So what we also uh, teach, teach is, okay, here you have a my brace, always have some appliances there, let the patient feel what is happening, point, tell them, this is the tongue guard, this is the lip bumper, this is what it's doing and, and uh, those are the unique points of this, uh, this appliance. This treatment, so what are we going to do? What is our main goal? What is our target? So with the appliance, we want to establish, uh, we want that mouth breathing will be changed into nasal breathing. We want to, to create a, a wider arch because of the position of the tongue. And in the end, there will be some retention and some tooth alignment. So as a bonus, you also get straight teeth. But the most important thing is that the bad oral habits are corrected. Part of this uh, treatment is besides the appliances, you also do the activities. So we have 17 different activities, 17 different exercises based on breathing, the tongue, uh, swallowing, lips and cheeks. So explain that this treatment is so important and therefore you need the appliances and therefore you, do, you have to do the activities every day, sometimes two or three times, but you have to do the activities always in combination with wearing the Maya brace during daytime. Then what are the goals? What are we going to do? It's okay, like I told you, nasal breathing, tongue in the right position, in the correct position, etc. But also teach you more about uh, healthy eating because also what I told you in the first webinar is that there is an effect on diet on on our body si system. Uh, okay, there will be straight teeth. Uh, another goal can be no retainers if possible. Um, so there are all different uh, uh, treatment goals what you can explain. And then what, how are we going to do it? So we, we, we need to have the compliance. How are we going to do that? It, no, and that's explained here in, in seven different points. You, you have to do it one or two hours per day and while sleeping, do an activity, et cetera. Go to, come to the practitioner uh, at least regularly, um, one, per, uh, one visit per month, one month and, uh, and a half. So. In 10 minutes, it's explained what is the problem, how are we going to do it, with what kind of tools are we going to do it, and what are the goals and what do we expect from you. So breaking it down and then building it up, 10 minutes. So if this has been done, then the next step is the evaluation. So how do you need, what, how do you know what, uh, what the situation is? So you need to have a point zero. So, on our website, but also on paper, um, there is, uh, in this case, it's, it's, it's online. So you can fill in all the details from, from uh, the patient, date of birth, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And you can fill it in step by step. So it means, first of all, what is the dental alignment? I know I always say first face, face uh, posture uh, profile. But because we are with the dentist uh, or with the dental professional, we start with what is the dental situation? What is the dental alignment? That's the first one we start. Just check the box and it is uh, saved. The next step is what type of arch form is there? Upper and lower. 
what type of occlusion do you find? Malocclusion. What type? What type will you uh, will you see? Is this an overbite? Is it an open bite? What What do you see? What is the facial development? So is it a problem in the lower face? Is the problem in the mid face? Or is everything okay? Uh, that's of course also possible. What are the oral habits? This is an important one. Try to find out if there is another situation in the oral habits. So are they using a pacifier? Are they drinking from a bottle? Are they thumb sucking? One of the things what we see if there's no result in the first months, uh, most of the time the doctor forget to ask or the assistant forget to ask if there are situations like this. This needs to stop. So this, is, this has not a good effect on the treatment. So first of all, if there is a situation when there is a pacifier or a thumb sucking, that needs to be stopped immediately. Because th again, that will have effect on uh, the treatment. So if this has been solved, or if this has been checked, uh, then what type of mouth, mouth breather? Or what type of breather is there? Is it a mouth breather? Is it a nasal breather? This is, for example, uh, a test what you can do uh, with the paces activity or, for example, with the breath holding test. The, uh, the breath holding test will give you in, in maximum 25, 30 seconds, 40 seconds will tell you if the patient is a nasal or a mouth breather. So you can check. Posture. Um, what type of posture? Just ask the patient to sit, to stand and tell, okay, there's a shoulder issue or the, the head is forward, the head is tilted, so you need, to, you need to find it out. What is the position of the tongue? And if they're swallowing, just let them drink and see what the tongue is doing uh, and see how the, the swallow is. So you need to find out this kind of uh, habits. And if necessary, you can also ask for the TMJ dysfunction most of the time, this will not be the question with children, so uh, okay, uh, but it's an option you can fill in. And if it's completed, then you can save it as a PDF with all the information what you just find out, found out. And this can be the start uh, of your record taking. So it means that, that this, this is the first uh, step. Of course, we have this also on paper. So everything what you just saw is also available in a paper sheet. So it means the same questions, dental alignment, arch form, what type of occlusion, facial development, breathing, tongue, swallow, lips and cheeks are all written down on this paper. But also down you see the habits, uh, you see the habits, you see what kind of TMD problems, everything what you want to know. This is the start of the first, uh, first, this is the first step in record taking. This is the part you need to do in your file. So the evaluation. Then you have to take the patient records. Um, so it means we always say take uh, these eight pictures, facial profile and the dental pictures. So together with the evaluation form, you will start with these eight pictures. You start and with every visit, and yes, with every visit, these pictures should be taken. And why should these uh, pictures be taken? Parents are watching the, 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 their children every day. They don't see nothing happen. So and then they come to you, they complain with you, say nothing is happening, I'm paying a lot of money, nothing is going on. And if you have the pictures, you can say, okay, this is the way we started. After three months, this is the situation. After two, uh, two months after that, this is the situation. So you can show them uh, the, the development. This is an important part of uh, the, the full treatment. Therefore, you can also uh, use the, the background grid poster. So you can hang it on the wall. You can take the pictures. You can count the blocks so you see uh, the difference, the grow in, in, in the profile, you see the change in the profile or, or posture and those kind of situations. Um, so this is an important part of the clinic. So if this all has been done, uh, you need to make uh, the treatment planning. 
So the question you have to ask for yourself is what do you see in the face and in the profile? What type of malocclusion do I see? Is it necessary to do some additional tools, uh, myolay, arch expansion, maybe braces, so you can also put in orthodontic uh, treatment if necessary? And what will be the full treatment plan? So this is actually with everything what I just discussed, the evaluation, the patient records, you need to make a plan what you need to present to the, to the parents. So for example, we have here uh, a boy, he is born in 2010. And all the questions you have to ask for yourself if you have these pictures, what is the facial development, what is his breathing situation, his posture, tongue position, swallowing pattern, everything what we just discussed. And that's all the information you have in your evaluation form and out of your records. So the question then is, what type of malocclusion does this patient has? Now, this is, this is his situation, so you can understand something has to be done to solve uh, his bad, uh, bad oral habits. So what is the alignment? What type of arch form do we see? What type of occlusion? So everything what we already found in our evaluation form is, is what you can see in these pictures. And then with all this information, you can make a treatment planning, you can make uh, a cost summary. And with this information, you say, okay, we start with this patient, he's eight years of age. We do three, four months, we do the, do the uh, first habit correction. Then we switch to the, to, the, to the arch development phase and we finish it off with a final alignment. And meanwhile, to begin, we start with a lip trainer to train uh, the strength of his lips. We think we need four to six weeks for that. So we do it and then we can switch to the, to the first stage. And this, these are the activities we need to do. Breathing, tongue, swallowing, lips and cheeks. So if you have done this, you, can, you present it to the, to, the, to, the, to the parents, to the patients, and you can start. And then the next step is starting with the myobrace activities. So maybe later I, I can show you more and more into deep about the activities. So the question is how to get the results. First of all, start with 10 patients. Uh, don't start with your own children. Don't start with people too close with you. Try to create a distance and do a spread about 10 patients. And probably you already have patients in your mind at this moment, uh, because it can happen that, that if you start with one, it's difficult, you don't under, it, it's not working. Maybe the patient is difficult, it's all possible. But if you spread it over 10 patients, then you have a better result when you start. The best age to start is the mixed dentition. So don't start too old or too severe cases. Don't start with a 45 year old patient uh, with all kinds of different uh, uh, dental situations. Just, just start in the age group, in the age group, the case or the, T, the K1 or the T1. So between the six and the 12, 10, 11 years, it's a simple, uh, simple way to start. And one of the things I always say, and that's one of my uh, one-liners, first learn how to walk and then you can run. So start simple, uh, try to get the experience, get the knowledge, get the education, and then you can make it, uh, you can make the, the, the cases more severe and you can go older or you can, you can, can, can find the more difficult cases. Keep the consultation out of the dental chair the focus is not the teeth, the focus is the bad habits, is to, to correcting the habits, the bad habits. So keep it away from the dental chair, like we said, make the myobrace area, start with the myobrace area and try to forget the link with the teeth. Of course, at the end, the bonus is the straight teeth, but what we want to do is to, cause to, so, uh, the, to solve the cause of the, the crooked teeth. And that's, that has nothing to do with the teeth. So keep them away from the dental chair. Use the consultation CD or app or the, 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 the 10 minute slides, what I uh, just, uh, what I just showed. Um, so 
all these slides, 10 slides, explain and go into the deep with the patient. Be open, be transparent, tell them what you are expecting from them. Again, it's a serious treatment, so we want also a serious consultation and we want serious commitment from the parents and the patient. Take good records and evaluate each month, so let the patient come back every one, 1 1.5 month. Always take the pictures, show them what is happening, show the evaluation, show what the, uh, sh uh, show to the patient what he expects. Use the activities program to support. So don't, um, oh. use the activities program. And why are there no results? Of course, I can say no to all the, the lines I just said. It was used in the wrong age or the, the case was too severe. And we see it every day. Consultation was done in the dental chair. So parents and, and uh, patients are thinking it has to do with Matisse. I have to go to the doctor every month and I don't want to. Uh, it's, it's keep them away from that. There was only, and this is a thing that happens a lot. There was, was only one appliance uh, was used and we see doctors. And again, every day we see doctor, yes, but I don't need number one. I only uh, use two appliances. No, I don't need uh, this. Uh, I am the one with the experience and the, the, the patient or the parents didn't want to pay that much. So I only sell one appliance. No, the treatment is serious. You are correcting, you are doing the right thing. There are goals and the protocol says three appliances, activities, if necessary, an additional tool uh, appliance, if necessary, additional orthodontic tools. And that is what the patient needs to do. And that is what the parent needs to uh, understand. With only one appliance, this will not work. Every appliance has its own goal. Every appliance has its own target. Why no results? There were no activities done, or they say no. I don't. Did this this breathing activity was too was too difficult. Uh, I stopped with it. I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, so I skipped to another one. Um, again, serious treatment. Three appliances. Activities are part of this program. There were no records taken. There was no evaluation every month. So the doctor or the, the, the professional said, yes, come back uh, after three months and then after two months, and then they see them after uh, uh, eight months. So there is no follow-up. There is no check. Uh, parents of uh, patients are still wearing the same, the, the, the first stage appliance after uh, eight months. It's very important to follow up to take the records to do the evaluation. There were no additional uh, um, appliances used. So like the K0, what I explained last time, but also the, 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 the myotelia appliances. Uh, so sometimes it's necessary to, to use an additional appliance for, uh, to create compliance, for example, with the breathing, to train extra breathing, to train extra the lips. Don't be afraid of telling what uh, you as a doc doctor expects from the parent and the patient. And I keep, re I keep repeating it, it's a serious treatment. So the, the whole treatment was not explained, uh, so the, 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 or it was explained just like the sitting uh, across each other without the, the, the consultation uh, slides, without the consultation presentation. So it was just uh, told like that and that's it. Uh, there's no so in the second phase there was two less arch expansion so there was no uh, uh, room for the no space for the tongue etc 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 so it means that that there are different steps which you have to follow uh, to get a result or to 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 get a result or why there are no results so this was the first part. I don't know if, if we want to go more into the deep in, uh, I can show you some activities if, if you would like, but this was the first part in how to get started. Uh, so what is necessary, how you can build up in your clinic, what do you need to do, etc. Like the uh, last times, you can send me an email, you can send an email to Alex. If you have questions, we will uh, uh, communicate those with them. So don't worry about that. 
uh, more information you also can see on our websites. Um, and of course, again, you can ask me, you can, you can ask your suppliers, no problem. Um, so this was the getting started. Uh, I don't know if there are questions now or maybe uh, if we have some more time, I can show you some activities. So no, I think you can, you can go ahead with the activities and we'll save the questions uh, to the end. Perfect. So I will now do the stop share. Uh, do this, sorry, I go here. I'm almost there. So yes. So do you see my screen? No. Okay, no problem. Then I do it, where is it? There, share. Yeah, that's it. There it is. Okay, now we are continuing with, with some activities. Some I will, uh, I will show you. And what I will show you is what do we do with activities and, and what are the different parts of activities? And I, first of all, I need to show you that there are uh, two types of programs. Number one, anybody, everybody who is doing the Myobrace uh, treatment can uh, use the trainer activities workbook. So it means that if there is a treatment, you will uh, get the activities workbook. You give them to the, to the parents and the patient. They have to fill in what they're doing every day and every day when they uh, visit you or every month when they visit you in the clinic, you can check them and see what is happening. Then we have in our program different levels. So it means we have the general uh, Myobrace user and then the next step is the Myobrace member. And one of the things of the Myobrace member is that they, of the membership, is that they ha have access to the MyBrace activities application. So it means that um, in the App Store or in the Google Play Store, there is an app. Um, and if you are a member and you download it, you will get, as a doctor, you will get login and you can share it with, your, with the patient so they can do the activities in an application. The next step is the MyBrace certified provider. It means that they also will have access to the app, but there will be also ac uh, access to, to all the artwork, and there will also be access to a 3D, 3D floor plan, what we will make together with, with you. We will support you in those situations. So first of all, the MyBrace membership. Uh, I will keep it short in this. The, the, if you want to be a, My, a Myobrace membership, there is a price. It's a one. Uh, it's it's it will cost you one time two and a half thousand euros. Okay, and for that uh, fee, you will get uh, staff training. Uh, you will be on the Myobrace website. You will get a free course, uh, etc. But the most important thing, what I would like to discuss now, is the Myobrace activities app. So the MyBrace Activities app is a real application uh, available in, in different languages. I'm not sure if it's in Romanian yet, but let's say no. Uh, so they can download it in, in, in several languages and it supports you in, um, in, in the activities. And also everything what the patient is doing is recorded in this application. So what is happening now, I will show you some videos uh, so in this case it's the, the in the application there are two chapters in this case it's the introduction video uh, and there will also be a food uh, a healthy diet video what will explain uh, what we uh, what we expect from you as a pa patient those uh, chapters are always open later on i will tell you what i mean with open and closed My name is Andrea. And I'm Ben. And today we're going to learn about some fun ways to help you get straight teeth and grow your jaws. 
These are simple, fun exercises called myobrace activities. And to make sure you get the most out of the myobrace your doctor has recommended, you should do them every day. Today we're going to explain how completing these activities every day, as well as wearing your myobrace, will help your teeth and jaws develop the way they should. So this is an example uh, of, of the look and feel of the application. And yes, it's an animation. And yes, maybe some people say mm, it's childish, childish. But uh, remember, the target group is the group six to nine. They, this is their world. Uh, they, they live in this kind of animations. They, they live in this kind of uh, uh, situation. So it is created for, the, for that target group. And yes, of course, there are also uh, children age group 10 to 15. They say, yes, it's childish, okay? That's what they think of everything. So don't worry about that. And I have the experience, so I know. Um, and sometimes also adults use this and then, yes, okay, but they understand why they have to do it and uh, they accept it. So it's all in, in, in an animated uh, surrounding. So then the next step is the nutrition. So like I told you, the introduction and the nutrition is always open. So children can always look in these chapters. They can always do the, 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 the answer the questions. Uh, they can always are free to look in these kind of uh, in these kind of paragraphs. I will not show you uh, everything about about this. So what you see now is this is the starting. Uh, uh, this is the start of the application. So you see uh, seven different uh, chapters. The first one, the introduction, and the last one, nutrition. So actually it's six. Uh, introduction and nutrition are always open. Then you have the breathing, the tongue, the swallowing, and the lips and cheeks exercises. If they click uh, and they open it, they see you have the light breathing, you have the paces and the nose clearing um, uh, exercises. I will now show you uh, the difference between uh, the explanation in the application, but also when it is done in a live situation in a clinic. So I will show you um, the paces. This is paces. how it explains. So this is the explanation how it's done in, uh, in, in, in the application. So every time before they start with, uh, with the practice, with the, with the activity, it's explained how to do it, what to do it. And uh, to, when the patient is in a clinic, you can also, the assistant can also explain it uh, to, the, to the patient. This is what you need to do. And how does it look like? Because now I will show you how it's working in a clinic. So this is a life. This exercise is designed to unblock noses. Holding your breath leads to a buildup of carbon dioxide in the blood, which means more oxygen exchange with the body's cells. Normal oxygen exchange with the cells results in proper dilation of the body's tubes, including blood vessels and airways. 
encourage the patient to record their paces on a paces record sheet to monitor their progress. Paces is an activity that helps us have better breathing control through our nose. So to start this activity, I'll get you to pop your Maya brace in. Good. I'm going to get you to put your fingers over your lips to help us remember to keep our lips closed through this activity. We're going to have a gentle breath in and out of our nose. On the out breath, we're going to pinch our nose and we're going to count how many paces or how many steps we can take until we feel a slight shortage of air. When you feel that you need to have a breath, I want you to stop, take your fingers from your nose and back on your lips and remember to have some nice gentle breathe breaths in and out of your nose. So Taylor, when you're ready, I want you to have a gentle breath in and on the out breath, I want you to pinch your nose and start counting your paces. So remember when you're finished, lips together and breathing through your nose. So we want to make sure that our breathing has returned back to normal before we go for another round. So this should usually take between 30 and 60 seconds. So this, this explains very well that one of the staff members can perfectly explain this to, uh, to a patient. And with all due respect, I don't think a doctor should, should do his time uh, explaining this kind of activities. This is perfect for an assistant or for a staff member or a Myobrace educator or training educator. So there are different situations. So this is the way how it's working. Then the patient starts uh, with these kind of activities. And again, everything is based on, on uh, using the application. So in the first thing, uh, in the first step, it's explained what does the patient needs to do. So how do, so after watching the video, it's also on paper, it's explaining what the patient needs to do. And then, okay, do you, are you ready to practice? Yes, I'm ready. And then it starts. Step by step, everything uh, is controlled. And then how many paces did you walk? You have to say like this, okay? And then it was recorded. One of the good things from, uh, one, one, one of the good tools in, in the application is that there is a backend program. And the backend program will give uh, access to the doctor, access to the assistant, and they can see what the patient has been doing, how much he has been doing, and how many attempts, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in this case, in, in the backend program of this application, the doctor can follow uh, the patient. So what was the last activity? Uh, what were the last uh, uh, logs of the paces? Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And if you as a, pa as a doctor are uh, satisfied with the results of the patient, you can open the next uh, exercise. So you as a doctor, you decide what kind of exercises the patient will do next. And of course, everything is in a sequence, but if you are not satisfied, you cannot open or you will not open the next exercise for the patient. So you are in control. So there are all kinds of uh, graphics which you can see. Um, and it means that as a doctor, you will get the doctor's login, so you can check in. And if you are in the backend program, you can create new patients. So it means every patient who is doing this treatment and you will give, give them access to the, to the application, you will make uh, uh, all the, the, the important details uh, give them a username, give them a login code, and you give it to the uh, patient. There's also an option to make a practice account. The practice account is the thing, is the account what you will use in your uh, clinic. So don't give a practice account to a patient. The practice account will collect all kinds of data, can be a mess. Uh, it's just to show uh, what you expect from your uh, patient. 
So all the patients are in here and from this screen, you can uh, check what the patient is doing. So the light breathing awareness is, is open. And from this screen, you can say, I'm now satisfied with this patient. Uh, he is doing uh, the light breathing awareness very well. He did the quiz very well. So I'm now opening in his next visit. I will tell him I open the uh, paces exercise because that's the next step what he needs to do. So, and again, you as a doctor are in control in what kind of activities you are doing or the patient is doing. Like I told you, you he, uh, the program also shows you what kind of, uh, what kind of activity was as latest, what kind of paces were locked, so what kind of locks were there. Um, so you can follow what the patient is doing. You are in control, you are in charge. <clears throat> So in this case, you can see that he, he, uh, this patient was doing uh, the, the quiz of the light breathing awareness and in uh, three times, he, he did the quiz three times uh, with a score of four. So it were four questions and he, it, it took him three times to answer all the four questions. And it can for you uh, also a, a piece of control or a way of controlling the patient that he understands what he is doing. So all kind of graphics, so you, you see uh, what the results are, how many paces uh, in combination with seconds. So you can show, and this is a nice way of talking to the, to the patient. And if the patient is telling, yes, I'm doing my activities all the day, all the time, and you are showing his logs and you're showing his data in, uh, in the application or in the backend program, which I know you're not because I, can, I see it. So what are we going to do about it? So besides the, the, the breathing exercises, we also have some tongue exercises. So I will show you now one, and that's the tongue clicks. Tongue clicks. Did you know that for its size, your tongue has some of the strongest muscles in your body? Just like all your other muscles though, they need to be exercised. They can become weak. If you have weak tongue muscles, it will make it harder for you to rest your tongue comfortably in the roof of your mouth on the spot. The tongue clicks activity will help strengthen your tongue muscles. As well as making your tongue stronger, it's a good exercise to help you keep your tongue in the correct resting position. The first thing to do is position the tip of your tongue on the spot. Then, check in the mirror to make sure your whole tongue is touching flat against the roof of your mouth and suction there. Now, click your tongue as hard and as loud as you can against the roof of your mouth. Do 30 really hard tongue clicks in a row and pay attention to how your tongue feels. See how many clicks you can do in a row because the more you can do, the stronger your tongue will become. Make sure to keep going until your tongue becomes tired. A fun thing you might like to try is clicking through the alphabet. So those were some tongue activities. Uh, then we have the swallowing and I also will show you one of this, so that's the correct swallow. Correct swallow. To begin, make sure the tip of your tongue is on the spot. You will need to make sure it stays there while you swallow. To start the swallow, close your lips together gently and flatten your tongue into the roof of your mouth without touching it to your front teeth. Now swallow with your teeth in front the back of the tongue. Your back you should touch together lightly when you do this. Make sure to practice this activity in front of the mirror so you can watch that there is no movement of your lips, cheeks, and muscles while swallowing. Also, keep an eye on your posture to make sure your back is straight, shoulders back, and head is held up. You should try to make sure you swallow like this every time. And then as last, <clears throat> the the uh, chapters uh, related to lips and cheeks, and it's lip pops. Lip pops. The lip pops activity is another exercise that will help your lip muscles to become stronger. It will also make it easier for you to rest them together comfortably whenever you're not eating or sleeping, which is your fourth bowl. Remember, body posture is also very important for your overall health and development. When you're practicing your exercises, make sure to keep it straight as possible. 
your shoulders and head back. When sitting in a chair or standing, your feet should be flat on the floor. To do the lip pops activity, roll your lips into your mouth and squeeze them tightly together so you can't see them when looking in the mirror. Now, pop your lips as hard and as loudly as you can. You should aim to do at least 20 or 30 pops, then keep going until your lips are tired. Keep a record of how many lip pops you can do. So it's a good way in how to explain the activities, how to do the activities. And, and it's, like I said, in, in the current world of the children, it's all about applications. It's all about animation. It's all about living in a virtual uh, world. So this is a good way of, of uh, doing the activities. So there's, the, like I told you last time, there's the activity schedule. So uh, you have all the appliances, what you want to use in this treatment. And in the first three months, you do the breathing exercises. Then in the, the next, you do the, the tongue exercises, the swallowing exercises, and the lips exercise. So this is the sequence, and this is the way they need to do it. And all the exercises are connected or are related to the, uh, to the application. So you see uh, seven, 17 uh, different uh, exercises, and it's all related to uh, what's happening in the app or in the trainer book. Then I shortly want to show you something about the certified provider, because like I told you, the application is also for the, 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 the people in the, in the certified provider program. It's uh, an additional two and a half thousand euros. The three, the uh, floor plan, uh, we will support you in the artwork, in, in the practice layout, uh, and all kind of other uh, different uh, situations where you will have more. So you also will have a, a, a plate which you can hang on the wall on the outside, uh, etc. I will show you. What do you need? So you need an activities room, you need a records room, waiting area, consult area, and a treatment room. And we have all kinds of different themes, different topics, what you can use in your clinic. And we will help you with making the 3D floor plan. So together with you, together with, with our dealer, we will make uh, the floor plan uh, and we will support you in what will be the best situation. So in Europe, we have in all the countries uh, and in Africa, we have all kinds of member, uh, members and MCP. So I will show you uh, some, some examples. So for example, this is one in, in the Netherlands. Uh, so you see the setup, uh, how they have done it. And it doesn't mean you, have a, you need a 200 square meter uh, room. Uh, it can also be, be be in other locations, and later on I will show you some in France who did it in a in a small kitchen. Uh, this is also one in the Netherlands. He is working with a speech therapist, so they have a whole setup in the in the city te city theme. Uh, this is the one in Germany. They have a pirate theme, and and they make they make combinations between city pirates and 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 farm. So they have all kind of. Uh, different the look and feel another one in Germany I told you about the kitchen in France so uh, in the, 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 the top two uh, pictures you, you see the room it's not a big room below you see everything what is needed for uh, for this for this space so it's all in the local language and this is the result. So it doesn't have to be a big 200 square meter uh, space. Be creative and, and, and everything is possible. So this is, this is a clinic that they are building that we started with before the whole situation in the world started and it will be finished uh, probably afterwards. This is one in Poland. She was very creative. Uh, so you see the tree and she didn't want to have the tree uh, what we have in the artwork, pro artwork program. So she said, I go to the IKEA and buy a tree myself. And that's what she did. And this is her situation. So a lot of things are possible. Bulgaria, Kiev, I showed you this one. So a lot of things are there. I showed you already the how to get results. Why there are no results. 
So with this, again, I explained to you in the last three, four weeks, what's the introduction of uh, in, in the myofunctional treatment? The, what's the philosophy? The last time I spoke about the product for, portfolio in myobrase and myosa. Now we spoke uh, about how to get started uh, and the activities and what is behind the activities. What I would suggest is that I will send uh, a wee transfer link to, to Alex with a summary of all the information I uh, have discussed. It's, a, it's called the doctor's package. There is also the 10 slide uh, consultation is in there. So there is research in there. So everything what we have discussed is there in a summary. I will send the we transfer link to, to Alex and he will distribute it to the people who uh, signed up. Um, so for now, uh, if there are questions, uh, please let me know. I'm willing here to answer the questions. And if it's related to all the three the webinars, please let me know. Okay, perfect. Uh, so uh, the first question is, uh, if it is possible for a patient, uh, if he doesn't have mouth breathing, uh, and if no, can we st uh, can we skip the first stage of the treatment? No. The doctor is probably asking if she can start uh, with the T2 or K2 no, directly. No, no, no. Always start. The sequence is always one, two, three. Um, so always start with with phase one, and maybe it's a short one, but always start with phase one, phase one, phase two, phase three. So don't don't play with with the protocol. Don't play with sequences. Just follow the protocol. Phase one, phase two, phase three. And yes, sometimes it happens that after one month or two months, uh, nasal breathing is already established in a good way. You can also see that the K one or the phase one in this case can be there to to get used to uh, to 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 create the compliance. So don't don't stop don't skip an appliance yes i can also confirm that because most of the doctors that come to us with broken appliances uh, say that they started directly with the with the second one yes so you need to create compliance and if 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 there is already nasal breathing or partly nasal breathing it's never wrong to start with the first one to get the compliance to get the use of 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 an appliance because it will get more difficult in in phase two and phase three or stage two and stage three because the appliance is getting harder it's also in material so it's difficult so let them get let them get used with the first uh, stage Okay, good. Uh, someone else is asking uh, how many staff members can uh, we bring to an in-office course? Uh, in office, you, uh, it is meant... Uh, Probably in Netherlands. Uh, I'm sitting here now, so let me tell. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. So it's 16. It's 32. There's, okay. there, there is space, there's space for 32 people here. So, okay. it's, and if necessary, we can create more. So it depends. Please uh, uh, discuss it with us, discuss it with Alex, and then we can see what we can organize. So uh, everything is possible. Okay. Uh, what are the languages that the app is available in? Because I know for sure in Romanian, it's not. No, and, and, and with no offense, and please uh, don't, don't be offended, um, the thing is, the application, the languages in the application are mostly done from Australia. Um, so Australia is leading everything what has to be done with uh, the websites, but also with the application. And to be honest, and it's not only Romanian, but also Estonian, Slovenian, Croatian, those kind of languages are too small for uh, Australia. It's too far. The countries are too small. They don't care. And again, no offense. Uh, so it's available in English. It's Russian, French, Dutch, German, uh, Spanish. Uh, and at this moment, they're also, uh, I think, finalizing Italian. So those are the seven or eight languages. Uh, and Portuguese because of the Brazilian market. Um, so those are the languages. All the other languages uh, probably will not come. Okay, so uh, the app is done directly in Australia in all the languages. They are not done by, by the distributors or something. 
No, uh, the the everything what has been what the 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 app is created with uh, in our Australian head office. So all the languages uh, are also decided in uh, in Australia, and what they choose is is yeah sorry the world language, uh, the world language so English, Spanish, French, German, those kind of languages, uh, Russian, uh, and all the other languages are too small to 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 invest in this kind of uh, application. So they will also not come, I think, at this moment. Okay. Uh, someone else is asking if can we uh, if they can get the app without becoming a MRC member. At this moment, no. Maybe maybe in the in the in the far future, but at this moment, the application is only connected to a membership. Okay, uh, we have a question about the the summit in two, 2020, but like you said, uh, you you don't know this information for now, so it remains to be seen. Yes, at this moment, uh, the summit is is planned for the week. Uh, let me guess, six, six to eleven November that that area, uh, and I know at this moment they're discussing if if they will postpone it to next year. Uh, because next year it will be for sure. Uh, for this year, they're still talking about it, and I know they are discussing it. So I think we, within one or two weeks, we know everything. Okay. And we have some questions uh, about the protocol flowchart, but uh, we will answer those uh, privately, like I said. Okay. Thank you, Hans, again for for these three uh, wonderful webinars. I, I think you have walked us through all the myofunctional therapy introduction by now. I hope. Thank you. Uh, like I said, uh, maybe also we can do this in the future. Uh, as new information arrives, maybe we can we can also provide this information to to the doc doctors that are interested in the in the myofunctional think... therapy. I think it's a good way, it's a new way of, of, of doing uh, a first step in the education. And later on, we can organize the one-day lectures or the two-day lectures, but this is a good way of communication. Uh, I'm happy that, that there's a lot of uh, response, that there's a lot of uh, uh, people who are willing to, to, to get to know more about, uh, about this topic, because we, we really think it's an important topic and, and it's really a health issue. It's a health situation. So I'm, I hope that everybody is convinced to start in some sort of way uh, so that we can make everybody more happy and more healthy. Um, so yes, uh, I agree with you. It's, it's a good way. And, and again, thank you for giving me this opportunity together with, with, with you, of course. Um, Yes, and, and for now, stay healthy and, and be safe and, and be happy tomorrow. That's what I would like to say. <laughs> thank you very much. We will definitely will be. <laughs> yes, we would also okay. like to thank uh, our participants because they showed great interest during these three sessions with you. Thank you. Yep. Now, after this three days, three hours, actually learning about my functional therapy, they have a, the basis to start something new very good for their patients. So thank you once again to all the participants and thank you Hans for your effort of being every time very punctual with us. No problem, you know. The information that we have provided. Thank no you very problem. much. I will send you the WeTransfer link with the doctor's package so you can distribute distribute to, to the people who want to have it. Absolutely. Um, so I will send it probably tonight uh, and then Tomorrow it can be distributed, but again, I understood that tomorrow there are other important things, so enjoy that first. Okay. Thank, you okay. very much. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.